was a foggy morning, very limited visibility. We hadn't seen anything. So I said, shut down the engines, and we waited. Sometimes you'll hear the whales. It was completely silent. This fin whale came into view. The fin whale is like the second biggest whale in the world, right alongside of the blue whale. They can get up to 80 plus feet long. Then two more appeared with it. So we had three of them going around the boat. A school of dolphins approached us from behind at full speed on the same path as the fin whales. They started jumping over the heads of the fin whales. They land halfway across their head and slide into the water on the other side. And they didn't do it once. They were at it for an hour. Every day is magic on the water, but there's days that are more magic than others. Lots of days you're working away and you're, oh, there's a whale. Because kitchen looks right out over the ocean and it's amazing. Whenever you see a whale, you will stop and watch. This particular day, there wasn't a breath of wind. It was the most beautiful day, hot, sunny July day. The water was as clear as glass, like not a ripple on it. We had lots of people out having their picnics, and you know, there was whales off in the distance. But all of a sudden, these two whales just coming along the coastline, and you could see them, they'd come up at the same time, like two synchronized swimmers. Picnic stuff being served, but I don't think anyone cared, because everyone that was here was literally just on the side of the bank, just watching. It was that clear that we were actually watching them swim under the water, like the most magical view of their life. We had a tour going, and there was three ladies showed up that had never seen whales before. We knew it was prime whale time. We could pretty much see the whales just outside the harbor. I could almost hear them. So off we went out the harbor, and there was whales everywhere. Everywhere you looked on the horizon, there was spouts, and up against the shores, there was spouts and tails going. Humpbacks everywhere, there were minkies. Uh, we could see some fin whales in the distance. We seen at least six species. There was a whole lot more whales out there, mm -hmm. tons of them. So anything that happened after that was a bonus. We were watching whales for at least a good hour and a half, and then we were looking for calmer water to kind of have her picnic. I eyed up Spaniard's Cove and then noticed there was dolphins in there as well. Capelin are rolling and there's gulls and there's bald eagles and there's these whales out here and you know everybody's sitting there with their coffee and it was silent. And then <laughs> here we go. Up come this big school Caitlin and they were jumping right in the boat. And into the boat and into the boat and into the boat and into the cups and into the suits and hitting people in the face. Caitlin don't normally do that, so they were trying to get away from something big. Seconds after the cloud of fish, <laughs> the humongous fin whale just came right up so and like, its mouth was wide open and the mouth. fish were getting forced right in the boat and he just slid gently right to the back of the boat and in the water. And that was it. Everybody was still constantly flicking fish out over the boat on her way home. I have the best job in the world. When you start seeing whales five, six feet below your boat, swim up alongside you, eyeball you, it's almost spiritual. This lady had been diagnosed six months before with a very serious illness, and Newfoundland Labrador was on her bucket list. And she was asking, how are the whales today? And I had to be honest. I said, well, we really haven't seen many whales for the last couple days, and the chances of seeing whales were not very high, almost slim to none at that time of the year. We got geared up. We walked down to the wharf. We started to get ready to go out kayaking, and there was a ripple in the water. And there on the edge of the wharf, not 30 or 40 feet away, was a large whale, as if it was waiting for this lady to come out. The locals came out. The fishermen came out. Everyone was surprised, because we'd never seen a whale of that size in that place in the harbor so late in the year. So we pushed the kayaks out, she paddled over, and the whale stayed alongside her kayak for the whole two-hour tour. And anywhere they went, as the group paddled through these coves and stopped, the whale would swim alongside and stop. And then they went into the caves and waited outside the caves, and they went into sea arches and stood by the sea arch. Spy hop, which means it came out of the water and looked at them with this big eye. The whale's pectoral fin was under the boats, under the kayaks. Though these creatures are huge, they're actually really gentle and aware of us when we're in the boats around them. She felt that it was a real spiritual connection, that this whale, 
her dream whale knew that she wasn't well. When they finally came back in the shore, the whale turned around and swam away. That's Mother Nature's deal, but that day was almost as if someone had reached out and said, this is going to happen for this lady on this day. And this whale miraculously appeared like a messenger and gave her the time of her life. 